food is central to Pacific life. Most of our activities in the rural communities and farming communities evolves around food. Diabetes, cancer, hypertension, heart attack. One of the four main contributing factors to all NCDs is unhealthy nutrition. Far too many children in the Pacific are either overweight or underweight. They're either eating the wrong foods or they're not eating the good nutrition that's right in their backyard. Imagine right now we are amputating limbs uh, one in every eight hours. Therefore, we are producing 700 disabilities a year. People don't embrace local foods because of a few factors, uh, strong marketing by uh, processed foods and manufacturers and producers. Most Papua New Guineans really love their greens. I think the problem is that the actual access to it and perhaps even the expense of it, especially in the larger towns like Port Moresby. My continuous hope is that people uh, embrace fresh food and local cuisines which has helped sustain our forefathers. Uh, they lived longer lives because of that. When someone valuable is taken out of a societal structure because they're sick, this is when societies start to falter. If children don't get adequate and appropriate nutrition in the earliest years of their lives, they will not be able to develop their fullest potential and they will not be able to contribute to their own country, their own societies, their own communities. Literally the stake of the Pacific is at stake if we don't change these issues. The food and cuisine is quite simply the best in the world. They'll cook for renowned judges and create dishes that bring Pacific Island cuisine into the spotlight, where one team will be named the Pacific's best. Pacific Island Food Revolution. What I love about the Pacific Island Food Revolution is its ability to connect to Pacific peoples through food. It speaks to individual cultures, individual islands in a way that no other program has used before. We're looking at food as a solution to the NCD crisis. And the NCD crisis is just a symptom of a food culture that's slightly off its own tracks but can easily get people back onto its tracks. I definitely see the, the uh, opportunity for the Pacific Island Food Revolution to, to work in other sectors apart from health, uh, particularly economy, social cohesion, attitudes of uh, young people to their environment, that kind of thing. I wanted to be involved with the program because you know the answer to our problem lies in our own countries with our local foods. When there's an episode of Pacific Island Food Revolution playing, it may last a certain amount of time. But the time that's spent discussing the episode, discussing the food, I think that's a key component of Pacific Island Food Revolution as a development tool. And uh, if you can raise uh, food warriors around the Pacific, then you'll raise a healthier Pacific. For Vanuatu, this means, let's say, a whole new identity and a whole new uh, perspective on what Vanuatu food culture is. Yeah, we learned a lot about their culture, our culture, that's something that we didn't even know. It really helped us now because we're using this as in our cooking. Everyone in the Pacific felt connected to it. They could relate to it. It's really one of the best ways to get a message out there. We could write a report, we could make a speech, but frankly, few would listen, few would read it. We always see cooking shows like MasterChef, but having it in a local context, and it's, it's very inspiring. Um, my kids, when you tell them that's what's cooked in the Pacific Food Revolution cooking show, then they'll start eating it. It's exciting, interesting. Every time when the program comes out, everybody's happy. They want to oh, they didn't put the TV on. We want to watch this. Team Vanuatu. <laughs> seen the Pacific Island Food Revolution inspiring families to change the way they cook. It's no longer about, Doctor, what do we need to eat? It's more them going, Doctor, I saw this on the Pacific Island Food Revolution. I thought I might try this. What do you think? We're getting young men to be into kitchen cooking. Traditionally, in our culture, 
we feel like it's the girl's job. But we try to bring that out in the program to say that it's, it's a partnership in this. We've really only just begun. I mean, we've had one season play in, in the Pacific Island countries. And having one show play once, it'll just create some sort of awareness. We need to go for a while yet. The revolution begins with you. And that's, that's what social change is. And the most obvious thing to change first is what goes in your mouth.